I am outside. Uh, today it, we are in the yellow zone, which means I'm allowed to go outside. And so I made sure to finish work early today. Had a late lunch. And now I'm taking, I'm going home, but I wanted to pass through the city and show you guys another part of the city that I haven't showed you yet in a while. Uh, I know that my vlogs have been very monotone. It's me walking around Milan, but right now we're not allowed to do anything else. So with no further ado, I'm showing you this new part of the city that I haven't shown in a while. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that we are in Piazza Gaia Lenti, which is one of my favorite parts of Milan. In fact, if you've been following me for a while, you will also know that this is one of my favorite spots. Um, I've shown it many times on my channel, but haven't in a while, so I thought, since I'm already in the neighborhood and since I'm vlogging but have nothing better to do, why not come see what Piazza Gaia Lenti looks like in January 2021. Seems I'm not the only one filming here. It's pretty empty but still quite spectacular so we'll take it for what it is. Now I'm gonna head down to the metro because my phone is dying and I'm gonna go back home. guys here I am back home and um, I'm not really sure when this vlog will go up but right now uh, the attempted coup or the storming of the capital actually happened yesterday so just to give you an idea of when I'm filming this video and um, it feels really weird to say I told you so in a situation like this but I did on my channel i've always been very obvious with the fact that the image of america that the outside world gets is very different from the actual reality and that things are a lot more complicated and honestly the what we saw yesterday on tv is not something that just came out of nowhere that's the culmination of america that's th this is what i hope well i hope this is the peak of an issue but these things the seeds of what you just saw have been sowing for even before i was born okay and things were bad enough for me at 18 years old to recognize that and be totally okay and super pro going out and seeing the rest of the world one of the reasons why i left america and stayed in europe was because i saw the direction that the country was going in i could feel the mood that was stirring and i've always been very honest with that on this channel so i mean again no surprises there and strangely enough i actually I, I'm relieved that this is happening. I'm happy this is happening because it just means that these things are finally becoming obvious and unavoidable and so we have to resolve them. We have to confront them. We have to face these issues and we can no longer push them under the rug and pretend that they're not there. So that's, that's what I think about that. Um, I feel like the people that are trying to tie this to solely Donald Trump is... Are a bit misled i mean of course donald trump's an idiot donald trump's terrible donald trump's this donald trump's that you can say whatever you want but um people elected donald trump if donald trump became president there was a reason because of that 
um if he stayed president there was a reason um if people stormed the if people were sure somebody will say that he told them to um storm the capitol um if they did it if they listened there's a reason to that and these sentiments these uh facts aren't going to go away just because Donald Trump isn't president anymore. Uh, these are issues, American issues, that we as Americans have to face and finally address. So I, every day that something happens, I say, well, I hope this is it. I hope this is rock bottom and we can move on from here. But you know, you can't tell the future. So I mean, I mean, if you guys were interested in my thoughts on that, that's my thought on that because I know people expect an opinion from me on that particular subject we'll see how things go i mean hope for the best but prepared for the worst and i think that 2021 especially is going to be a lot like that i'm really hoping for the best but after surviving 2020 i guess i'm pretty prepared for the worst and you just got to take things a day by day i'm taking things one day at a time and today since i wasn't feeling so great because of the images I saw yesterday. Um, that was one of the reasons why I just needed to get out and take a walk. And so glad I could take you guys with me and I'll probably be doing more of these kinds of vlogs just walking around because like I said, there's not really much else I can do. But who knows, maybe they can even be therapeutic for you guys. It's like you guys are walking around in Milan too. So, ooh, for virtual, um, virtual vicarious living. So yeah, I think that I'm going to close this vlog here and as usual, I hope you guys liked it. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.